I will now make three points. One, summarizing what we've learned, and two more that will be certain conventional adjustments to the, to the concept of area. So what we have learned is that when we're trying to find the area under the curve given by, let's say, f of t, f of x, but under the integral I will write f of t so my letters don't mix. From some point A to some point B, what we need to do is find the antiderivative, I will, which I will denote by capital F. So right here I will document what capital F is. Capital F is the antiderivative of x, excuse me, of f. So we have to calculate the antiderivative. Then make the adjustment. We have to, of all the possible antiderivatives, in other words, of all the possible freedoms with this, with this additional constant, we have to choose the one so that at x equals a, the value will be zero. Whatever f we chose here, we have to subtract f of a. That's what we've already done three times. I specifically chose three functions where each one required an adjustment like that. And then all we have to do is plug in x equals b. So there's your vertical bar, although not in the way you're used to. Right now, I just use this vertical bar, meaning plug in b for x. Evaluate whatever I have here at x equals b. This is actually a very common mathematical notation, which means evaluated at a different use of the bar. So it basically equals f of b minus f of a. And sometimes it's this form that's called the fundamental theorem of calculus. This is actually the recipe that some of you who have already taken integration are familiar with. It basically says take any antiderivative, don't worry about the constant, take any antiderivative, evaluate it at a and b and subtract one from the other, which can also be written in the form that you guys like. So that's just a different form of writing, a different way of writing the exact same thing. But the recipe is important. We kind of broke it up into two steps. Step number one, solving the problem for any x, in which case you, you kind of have to use that same logic. You have to be a little bit more careful. But if the problem is from a to b, then the recipe simplifies. Find any antiderivative and find the difference between its values at a and b.